Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you what to me is the best white rice cooked using the Instapot. Let's go! So we only have three ingredients. We have white rice, I'm using a jasmine white rice. You could use basmati, you could use uh, carnaroli, whichever you prefer. Water and uh, salt. In terms of quantities, We'll use a one-to-one -one ratio of rice and water, actually washed rice and water. So the unit of measurement doesn't matter. In terms of salt, I recommend using about one pinch every 100 grams of rice, okay? So first of all, we need to wash the rice. I recommend washing it three times and actually do one more step if you want the perfect rice, which is letting it soak in water for 30 minutes. And I'll show you in a second why. Okay, here is our rinsed rice and here is our soaked rice. Let me show you. This is the soaked rice and this is the rinsed rice. You see the color is different, this is like much whiter and uh, looking like a pearl color and it's softer, okay? So the rice could be cooked by simply soaking it for enough time. So we let it soak for 30 minutes and we account of that 30 minutes by lowering the amount of time we cook it in the rice cooker by one minute. Okay, anything else stays the same. So, okay, let's add the rice to our Instapot. Add the same quantity of water. You see how clean the water is now? This is because we soaked the rice. Let's add the salt, one pinch every 100 gram, a little stir. And we're ready to go. Perfect, about the time. It depends on the quality of the rice, okay? I recommend doing seven minutes if you want it al dente, but for carnaroli, for example, it's better to do eight minutes. And here we go. Okay, as you can see, guys, the rice is fully cooked. It's not stick to the bottom, and you see it's all, uh, it's not stick together, it breaks apart. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in a, in a little bowl. I promise guys, the smell is incredible, to be just rice, you know? This is our final product. I mean, it's rice, so I cannot be as appreciative as I usually am, but you know, by cooking it in this way, the flavor is incredible of rice itself. Try it, let me know what you think. If you like, if you don't have an Instapot and you like to see a version of this rice in the normal pot, let me know because we can uh, make a video about that as well. And yeah, have a good day.